right, my little art friends, is another exciting artist of the week. Your first true artist of the week, Klaus Oldenburg. And that's that guy right there smiling, and he's hanging out with his friend, Cozy von Bruggen. Unfortunately, she died. Very sad. Anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about Klaus Oldenburg and his work. What he was originally known for, and that's probably on the form, what he was originally known for were his soft sculptures. And they were funny. Look at that. It's a toilet bowl, but it's like a soft toilet bowl. And those are some French fries, and they're like soft French fries. And he made these soft products. The French fries were like nine feet tall. Look at this. I saw this one time in New York City. It's like this bag that you used to put on your head when you had a headache in the old days. It filled it with ice. Anyway, he made a really big one, and it's soft. And look at that lady right there. She's happy that she got to see it. She's all smiling and stuff like that. And I think that's one of the things that Klaus Oldenburg's art is makes us feel makes us feel happy like okay here's probably one of his famous pieces and what he's most known for is his large scale um, projects and this is called spoon bridge with cherry and you can see it actually is going over water there of course it wouldn't make a very good bridge because you probably fall in the water when you slid down on the part right there anyway and it's also wet you can see water dripping off the cherry but this is probably what he's most probably on the form what is he most famous for his giant sculptures like spoon bridge cherry and these right here they're like when you play that game and you hit them but like badminton but like look how big they are they're ginormous and they look like they're sitting there out in the middle of the field so Here's another one. It's a giant ice cream cone. It's like sitting on top of the building and it's melting. I just crack up. It's so funny, this Klaus Ohlenberg guy, don't you think? He was a pop artist from back in the 60s. Here's another one he did. He's done like two of these. One of them I saw in New York, um, and it was it was black. And this is another one I think he did in, in England. Anyway, it's blue. Um, it's like a spade, and it's going like into the ground. And I think that's cool how it incorporates – like the ground and things like that. Like this saw looks like it's sawing up the ground right there. And again, ginormous, whimsical, funny, and uh, part of that pop art movement, but he's still around today making art. And here's another piece. Talk about including the environment. Look how like they, they must have used a bulldozer or something like that to push that dirt there and then make it look like this giant clothespin was holding the dirt. So that's kind of fun. But he's been pranked on before. Now, here's one of his pieces. It was the start of one of the pieces. It was the flame to like a giant match, and it was sitting there. And there you can see the matchsticks in the background. If you look, you can see above the flame. Anyway, it's supposed to be the flame. But there's a street artist that came along, and he thought it looked like something else. He didn't think it looked like a flame. So he put some big eyeballs on it and a smiley face while it was sitting there before they got it up. And uh, and he made it look like a poop. So that was an April Fool's joke for Klaus Oldenburg. Kind of funny. Ha <laughs> ha, makes you laugh. Like all of their Klaus Oldenburg's work. So that's Klaus Oldenburg. And here's one of his soft sculptures I'm going to leave you with. And a little video there at the bottom if you want to watch that extra video. I'm going to have it in the Google Classroom. So thanks for your Artist of the Week. Fill out the form. Mark done, and we'll tomorrow's Thursday, so you get to do studio work, and then we'll post our work on Friday. That's it.